Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to replace the crankshaft seal on your lawnmower. And today I'll be doing this on a 158cc Briggs & Stratton engine. Now it's very rare that I end up replacing the crankshaft seal on any lawnmower, but for some reason this one's leaking when the engine's running and it's getting all over the blade and underneath the engine. So these are some of the tools that you can use to do this job. I've got a drywall screw, a small pick, a screwdriver, a bigger pick, and a drill and a small bit. You don't necessarily have to use all these tools at once, but you can use some of these tools to do this job. Now I've tilted the mower on its side like this, and I've put a piece of cardboard underneath the lawnmower in case some oil or fuel leaks out. Now the mower will be sitting on its side like this for a while, so it is possible that you will get a bit of oil in the head of the engine. If you do see a bit of oil leaking out of the muffler, don't worry, the mower will start when you're done. Now to get started in this job, I am going to remove the blade. Now fortunately the adapter is coming off very easy today and that's probably because there's been oil in there for quite a while. But most of the time the adapter will be seized and this is the method that I use. I use a two jaw puller, a bolt that is smaller than the actual bolt that was in there holding the blade and then I just tighten up and the adapter usually comes off. I do have a video that shows how to remove stubborn adapters like this. The link is under the video today. Check it out. If you have an issue, this will show you exactly how to remove your stubborn and stuck on adapters. And here's the crank seal over here. I did pressure wash the underneath of the machine so it looks a bit cleaner than it did before. At this moment though, I am going to clean off all the dirt that is on the shaft here before I remove the seal. The reason I want to clean the shaft is so that putting on the new seal will be much easier and it will not damage it. So to clean that shaft today I'm using a wire brush on a drill. Make sure you wear safety glasses. Now at this point I'm just going to spray with car cleaner and wipe it clean. Now I'm going to drill a small hole in the seal. You want to make sure you don't scratch or damage the shaft or the outer part where the seal goes on the engine. The reason I drilled the hole is so that I could more easily start the drywall screw. And by screwing the screw in, it's going to pull up the seal. Usually it works. In this case it didn't work. Since it's so stubborn I'm going to use this large pick that I've hammered in. And there we go. And the old spring's still stuck in there so just make sure you remove that if that's the case. Wipe it up nice and clean. And here's the new seal I'll be installing on that engine today. It's part number 391483S from Briggs. Now if you live in Canada and you do want to purchase this part, just contact me directly. Also if you live in the States and you want to buy it, there's a link under the video as well for that. Before installing my seals, I like to put some aviation gasket maker around the outer edge of the seal. It's just my preference. I just like to put a thin film like this. And now I'm putting oil on the shaft here to make it easier for the seal to go on. And now to push it in I have a piece of pipe here that is exactly the same diameter as the outer part of the seal. I'm just gently going to tap the seal in. And now the seal's installed. I think I did push it in a bit too far, but it doesn't matter because it does sit on some kind of ridge inside there. So it won't really matter that it's in a little deeper. And now just run your mower and check for leaks again. And if it's installed correctly, you will not have any leaks. If you did have leaks after it's installed correctly, you may want to check to see how worn out the shaft is. This one looked pretty good. 
so I don't think there'll be an issue here today. Now all that's left to do is install the blade adapter and the blade. Now I don't have the specs for the torque on the blade, but make sure it's fairly tight. So I was surprised even after it being tilted like that, it started right away. If you did get oil in your cylinder and your mower is hydrolocked, I do have a video that shows how to fix that problem and the link is under the video today so you can go watch it. But if you do this repair quickly, the oil will not have time to go inside the cylinder and hydrolock your engine. And just another reminder guys, when you do this repair, make sure you don't scratch the crankshaft because it may have a hard time sealing the oil after even if you put in a new seal. Thanks again for watching guys, make sure to subscribe and you can see me next time. Have a great day.